hello everyone in this video we are going to see the steps that you need to follow in case your keyboard is not working properly if you're typing the keys but the response is not getting displayed on the screen or if uh, you are typing some other thing but it is auto correcting to some other things or if it is uh, the input is coming in a different language so all of these issues how are we going to solve uh, this we are going to see in this video so for this purpose what i'm going to do is very simply use a virtual keyboard so virtual or an on-screen keyboard is available so how do you go to that you can just um, go to the search bar and uh, just type in on o and on uh, so if these two buttons are available uh, you are able to use them then use the on-screen keyboard for this purpose the reason i'm doing this because uh, if you are clicked on this video that means you're facing some issues with your keyboard so it's better to use a virtual keyboard for this purpose okay so then right click uh, so basically open up the search bar and just type in trouble so troubleshoot settings will be open up let's just click on that and let me minimize this keyboard for now so this is the troubleshoot settings display page go to additional troubleshooters give it a few seconds till it loads properly when it's loaded go to find and fix other problems and here you will find keyboard so if you say uh, see it says that find and fix problems with your computer's keyboard settings so just click on that click on run the troubleshooter it's going to take a few seconds it's going to detect the issues and auto fix them if there are any of the issues that are found so in my case no changes or updates were necessary because of course my computer my keyboard is working fine but in your case if your keyboard is not working fine then it is a high chance that your troubleshooter will give you some issues and it will actually fix that issue if it is not fixing that issue you can go to detailed information so the troubleshooting report will show you the issue and from here you can actually fix this issue then again i'm just going to click cancel for now so the issues with your keyboard might have been fixed for now if they are still not fixed then what you need to do is again open up your on-screen keyboard again go to the search bar and type in settings s e double t so this settings app should be opened just click on there and here we need to go to time and language settings make sure that the language that we are using in our keyboard is actually the correct language it's not some other language that we are using so for this go to this language option here you will see the language that is being used for different purposes so for windows display we are using the united states english which is good for apps and websites we are using indian english which is okay for the regional format again we are using the indian english for the keyboard we are using us english which is okay for the speech we are using indian english so in my case it is all correct if you notice that uh, for your keyboard it is not united states english or uk english or whatever language you prefer if it is not that then you can change that particular language by clicking on that particular keyboard uh, use language list so here you can manually choose that particular language so once it's done close this menu then your keyboard should work fine and you won't need this on-screen keyboard anymore so we can just close this on-screen keyboard as well so that's it for this video that's how you can fix the keyboard issues that are related to your own keyboard but if you're using an external keyboard and still facing some issues then there might be issues with the drivers so how do you fix those issues just uh, right click on the start menu go to the device manager here go to keyboards uh, here make sure that your external keyboard is showing over here if it is not go to action scan for hardware changes once the scan is complete then your external keyboard should be available over here and you should be able to use it to type and if it still doesn't work then one of the most probable causes could be a num lock or some other lock key that you have used so make sure those are not there and then your keyboard should be up and running fine that's it for this video thanks for watching